and I was reading in Revelations. And I was just reading about Jesus on the throne and about all the elders and the angels being around him and the saints. And I was just reading about how they all were just saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And in all of this that's going on, I want us to recognize that Jesus is on the throne. And I want us to lift him up. And he is holy, holy, holy tonight. Let's enter into the presence of God tonight. And let's express to him from our humble heart, from our, our lowly heart, let's express to him that he is holy, holy, holy tonight. And in expressing that, when I express it and you express it, let it be us calling out to the Lord and saying, you are holy and I put my whole trust in you, a holy God.
to the table so I'm sorry I'm gonna just have to carry you with me <laughs> bear with me <laughs> here we are again at the at the round table <laughs> my kitchen table I tell you he's so worthy I tell you he is so worthy he's wonderful I'm so thankful for what I feel down in the depths of my soul I'm so thankful for this time together with my friends that are here in my house and for my friends that are that I'm uh, getting to fellowship with online. I think this, this technology is the most wonderful thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm connected with no telling how many people that I love. Um, and so we're just going to dig into the word. Um, I asked Rhonda uh, if she was uh, would speak and she's got a, something that she was burning on in, her, in her soul. <laughs> Thank you, April. I'm so excited tonight that the Lord is an on-time God. Yes. Um, actually, I, I really wasn't planning to have much to say, but the Lord's just put something in my heart that I want to share. Uh, last week, and I really don't know what our theme is this week. I'm just going by what I feel. Go ahead. That's okay. Last week, I, I spoke about a, a way to go deeper is to, to get in the Word, mm -hmm. stay in the Word, and study, and that type thing. And another way that I think that we can go deeper is just by what we're doing here mm. is fellowship mm. with our brothers and sisters. Right. In this Praise case tonight, we're, we're in, our, our sisters are together. Yes. And I can tell you <clears throat> that when I walked into this place tonight, I was so tired because today I've done something I don't usually do, and that's manual labor. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm, I was tired in body, but I'm telling you, when I got here and I opened up my Bible to find a verse of Scripture that I wanted to share, and they started playing and, and praising, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that tiredness left me. I'm just as refreshed as I can be right now, and I am so thankful for that. Glory. I just praise the Lord. So, in your walk with God... You need to surround yourself mm. with fellow Christians or sisters or, or however you want to put it. You don't, just to be blunt, you don't need to be uh, spending a lot of time with negative people Come on now. or people who um, are, you have to witness to unbelievers. But you want to you want to share the gospel and you want to talk about the goodness of the mm. Lord with fellow believers, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you, that we need to, even though in this time of where we're supposed to be social distancing or whatever that term is, yeah. there are ways such as we're doing tonight that you can stay connected. Yes. And so we've got to do that. Amen? Amen. We Amen. have got to do that. Amen. Amen. And I was reading in the scriptures, and I want to give you some encouragement if you'll stay with me just for a moment. Uh, in Psalms 42 and 5, <clears throat> It says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Mm. And why art thou disquieted in thee? Hope thou in God. Yes. Mm -hmm. For I shall yet praise him mm. for the help of his countenance. Being in his presence Amen. will Amen. help that you. I'm telling Amen. you. And then um, I thought it was very interesting. The uh, last verse in chapter 42. It says, Again, why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. Mm. For I shall yet praise him who is the health. Mm. He's our right. health. Yes. He Amen. is the health of my countenance <laughs> and my Amen. God. Amen. Then moving on to chapter 43 in Psalms, the last verse, verse 5 says, 
I sound repetitive, but it's the word. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. It yeah. says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in mm -hmm. God. Amen. Amen. For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. So mm -hmm. obviously it was important for it to be said so many exactly. times consecutively right. in yes. two, two right. verses or two chapters. So I want us to, to praise him and thank him. And because he brings health to our countenance. Amen. 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 And then Glory I want to go to uh, Ephesians. I think it is. Yes, it is. Ephesians, wrong, Philippians. I apologize. <laughs> it's Philippians. Now, another thing that to me helps me yeah. is to talk about the good things. Well, okay. Right. Yes. Right. So we could mm -hmm. sit here and we could talk about some negative things, mm -hmm. some stuff we hear. Right. I'm not doing that. Come on. <laughs> All right, Philippians 4 and 8 says, Finally, my brethren, or my sisters, whatsoever things are true. <laughs> what Did I get your scripture? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's good, it's good. I'm so it's sorry. Do it, do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> we didn't, that's as the, you that's can tell, danger. Yeah, <laughs> as you can tell, this is not uh, discussed. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever mm. things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever mm. things are of good report. Yes. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Surround Amen. yourself with happy, positive people that talk about the goodness mm. of the Lord and find the scriptures in the Word. I sat over there for just a few minutes and these scriptures just opened up to me yes. as I was not planning to speak tonight, but God had a word for me to share even though I stole it from me. <laughs> But that's what I have. I well, love all of y'all. Love y'all. Yes. Well, <laughs> glory. Amen. I love God, how he works things out. So many times my, these two ladies have gone to Uganda with me, and it's so awesome how God orchestrates and puts things together. We would mm -hmm. never, it was a rare thing for us to talk about what we were exactly. going to share. Right. And it's like every time God would always just bring it together, we'd have the same scripture, and <laughs> we'd always kind of... Uh, do paper, rock, scissors, who goes first? Because we wanted to, <laughs> to share it first. <laughs> but I'm telling you, what the Lord <laughs> laid on my heart is about um, what's on your mind. Mm, yes, <laughs> the battlefield mind. of your mind. Right. I right. looked up some facts. You might, you may or might know this, but it says uh, you carry around a three-pound mass of wrinkly material in your head that controls every single thing you will ever do, mm -hmm. from enabling you to think, learn, create, feel emotions, to controlling your every blink, wow. <laughs> breath, mm -hmm. and heartbeat. This fantastic control center is your brain. <laughs> it is a structure so amazing that a famous scientist once called it the most complex thing we have yet discovered in our universe. Wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The average human, yes. uh, this blew my mind, the average human thinks 70,000 thoughts a day. A lot. 70, women 70, probably think more than yes, that. Yes, women probably think 170,000. <laughs> listen to this. Sorry, man. <laughs> it can hold up to, listen to this, up to 2.5 million gigabytes of memory. Wow. Wow. <laughs> My phone, my cell phone is 64 gigabytes, and I have tried my best to, to fill it up with pictures, and I have yet to do it. And that's just 64, but your mm. brain can hold 2.5 million gigabytes of memory. A human brain can create enough energy to power a light bulb up to 23 watts. Wow. Mm. That's, that's amazing to me. Your brain it's sends... A on. <laughs> <laughs> if you turn the light on, yes. <laughs> Your brain sends information at a rate of 260 miles per hour. Mm. That's super fast. So as my pastor would say, turn to your neighbor and say, <laughs> it matters what you're thinking about. It, it matters, matters what, what you're, you're thinking, thinking about. It matters Amen. what you, well, it matters what you think about. Yes, it does. Can I read this to you? It's Romans 12 and verse 2. Y'all know these, every scripture, you're going to know them. 
it says, and be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind yes. that well glory, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. It says, uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And y'all know me, I looked up that word renewing. <laughs> and the word in the Greek, it means to renovate. All right. Praise me. If anybody knows anything about renovation, it's me. <laughs> I love it. That's what that's what I that's what I do for a living. We we remodel old houses and, and there's just something that never gets old to me about taking something that's just dilapidated and old and run down and to I meant just to go in there and renovate it. You gotta well, come on now. Amen. You gotta strip those things yes. to the bare studs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to the foundation. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about hallelujah Amen. you strip it down to the foundation and you make everything new so God showed me that we I'm gonna include myself we as a body in general need to renovate our minds we need to renovate mm. our thoughts uh -huh. what we're thinking about and I, I know just as good as you know what's going on in this world and I know that there's all kind of the uh, anxiety and fear and all of these things that are going on. And I tell you, let me first say this. I have never been so thankful for Jesus Amen. in my Amen. life. Yes. I'm so thankful that he saved me. Yes. I was just an old wretch. And he saved me and he turned my life around. Amen. And I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Jesus, I would be afraid. Can I just say that? The situation right. that's going wrong. If I didn't have Jesus, well, glory, Amen. living deep on the inside of me. Amen. And, and Amen. I mean, Amen. being my strength and being yes. my joy and Amen. being my peace, yes. I would be afraid. Yes. So, my friend, I know this is for, for the church and trying to encourage church folk. But listen, I if you're not a church goer, if you don't know Jesus or you don't have a relationship with him, I'm talking to you too, my right. friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I don't know what I would do without him. I don't know what I would do without him. He's somebody you can trust. Yes. I'm talking mm -hmm. to I'm talking mm -hmm. to somebody. There's been people in your life you've been let down. Ever since you were a kid, even up to your adult, you've been let down by people, left and right. You've been hurt by people. But I'm telling you, Jesus will never, ever let you Amen. down. Right. He'll never let you down. And I'm begging you today, if you don't have a relationship with him, you can trust him. Yes. You can trust him with your life, with your family's life, everybody around you. You can trust him. He's yes. got your very best <clears throat> interest at heart. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Let me get back to it. <laughs> um, it says, uh, Colossians 3 and verse 2, it says, Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. And that word affection, I looked it up in the Greek, and it says to exercise the mind. Intensively interest oneself in. Intensively interest yourself. Exercise your mind. You think... Why is it? Why does it matter what what you think? Let me tell you why. Uh, Isaiah twenty six and three. It says you will keep him in perfect mm -hmm. peace, yes. whose mind is Stay stayed on, on you. Mm -hmm. Well, glory, yes. because he trusts in, in the thee. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why it matters what you're thinking about. Hallelujah. You y'all know this illustration. I've heard it before, and I love it. You know, it says you can either be a thermometer. Or a thermostat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a thermometer, mm -hmm. <laughs> what it does is it's affected by the environment around it. Mm -hmm. You, If you got, you may have a fever, you're going to check to see you put that in your mouth, and it's going to be affected by the temperature of around it in your mouth. And it's going to go up or it's going to go down. And it's mm -hmm. affected by things around it. But a thermostat, well, glory, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you are walking to a room and it's so hot you can't even breathe. If you go to that thermostat and you click it on down to 60 degrees, it's going to affect, yeah. it's yes. going to be the yes. one to affect things yeah. around it. And yeah. your thoughts are so important. I'm telling you, it affects everything you do, everything you say, everything you do. It, it all comes down to what you're thinking about. Amen. If anybody, has anybody ever been walked into a room and people be talking and you could just feel that, oh, that 
I don't know what it is, sadness or oppression. Mm -hmm. You can just feel mm -hmm. that. But then also, have you been feeling kind of down in the dumps and you walked around people just like yeah. Rhonda was saying mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that were full of the joy of the Lord and you couldn't help it. You, you were changed by that environment. So I'm telling you, friend, if you don't control the atmosphere around you, who's going to do it for you? Amen. Try. <laughs> I don't make sound, mate. But Amen. you can control what goes on around you yes. by what you think Amen. about. Yes. Okay? Yes. Rhonda already read my scripture. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. It's a good word. It it's is. wonderful. It, it matters what Amen. you think about. Amen. Um let me just jump to this. It was not in my notes, but I remember a story about David. Uh, and he was in a very, very hard place in his life. Uh, he had They had gone out to battle him and the men. And when they came back, the enemy had come and destroyed their houses. Yeah. They had taken their wives. They had taken their children. Everything he had was gone just like that when he came back. And even all of his men, his closest buddies that went to battle, that fought right next to his side, they turned against David. Right. They blamed him because their children, everything they had was gone, was gone around them too. Yeah. They blamed him. But David said, <laughs> the Bible says that David did something that was yep. so powerful. It says that he encouraged himself yep. in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, he did. Okay. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. I know that there's people, I've never been so aware of people going through hard times in my life. I ran across a couple not too long ago that were going through some hard things and it just, I just felt like my heart was being ripped out. I'm not trying to belittle your circumstance, what right, you're going through. Right. Please don't Amen. misunderstand me. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, even in the midst of that horrible situation you're going through, you can encourage yourself in the Lord yes. your God, yes. and everything will change. Yes. And after that, it said that he, he put on the ephod, and that what that represents to me are the promises of God. <laughs> And he inquired of the Lord. He prayed, what are we going to do? Uh -huh. And the Lord said, pursue, overtake, and without fail, you're going to recover all. Oh, well, yes, I feel that so strong. You're going to recover all. But you first have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Change your mindset. Yes. And the Lord spoke to me and, and, as I was, I was waiting on this other point. And I got into Acts and was reading. And we have got to, in this time of change... We've got to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, it's yes, like, yes. oh, how do we need the Holy Spirit? we got to be filled with the Holy Spirit, walk in the Holy Spirit, talk in the Holy Spirit. Yes. We have got to pray in the Holy Come Spirit. Yes, this is a time we ought to be praying, and we need to pray in the Spirit. Because yes. when we pray in the Spirit, the Spirit is speaking for us and telling God everything. Yes, everything. Yes, yes. everything that we can't even express. It says that we'll receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon us and we shall be witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. I'll tell you, this is a time that we need the power of the Holy Spirit and we can be witnesses. And I'll tell you how we can be witnesses. It bless, blesses my soul. I watched Facebook and it showed, I'm telling you, this is all over the world, folks. Yeah. And it showed people in Brazil that uh -huh. are in this apartment complex all the way up to the sky and they are all locked in. And you know what they were doing? They were hanging out of their balconies singing in, in Spanish, singing, Because He Lives, yeah. I Can Face Tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because He Lives, all yes. fear is gone. Yes. And it was the sight, oh, just to hear these people in Spanish singing. And you know what? I think that's going on all over the world. Yeah. I believe all over the world, there are pockets of people all over the world that are singing yeah, out Luke, yeah. the praises of Amen. God. They're singing. I thought of that song mm. uh, uh, that we sang, The Whole Earth Sings. Yes. The, the whole earth sings. Uh -huh. I'm thinking all these people all over the world are singing out the praises of God. Yes. When they're locked in, they're singing out. Wow. Tell me that the gospel won't go forth. On, the gospel yes. can go forth when you're in lockdown. Yes. It can go forth and, and the whole earth can sing of the praises of God. And my last point, Pastor kind of kind of got me going on this one, Pastor Ron Johnson from our church. We had a meeting the other night, and he, he read this scripture, John 4 and 35. Do you not say there are still four months, and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. And I'm, oh boy, there's something good in this. 
We may be always saying, oh, I'm locked down. I can't reach anybody right now. But, you know, the harvest is, it, it's there. It's there. God's saying the harvest is white. It's yeah. ready yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And God's saying these, it could be four months. We don't know. We don't know. Exactly. We got April, May, June, July. We don't know. There could be four months involved in this. It could be six months. It could be two months. I don't know. But I'm saying that God is saying to us, the time for the harvest is now. Oh, yes. Now is the time for the harvest. And so if you've gone through this thing that I've gone through, you take these points and you take them to heart and you realize that this is a, this is a special I kept talking about I'm going into a new season yes. before I retire. This is my new season. Yeah. <laughs> this is the time that God has called me to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, to reap the harvest. Yeah. He's called me to, to, to be still and to listen to him and to review and reevaluate and repent. He's called me to get into that place that I can be used by the Lord mightily and you can be used by the Lord mightily. And oh, let's just see, like, like April said, let's see those signs and oh, wonders. Yes. Let's see God really move during this time. Yes, Make an effort when you see people, when you're out, when you're talking, when you're texting. When you, don't just be flippant about it. Don't just be surface about mm -hmm. it. Get to the point. Yes. Get to the point. Say to them, like I did to someone today. I'm trying to make a point. When I'm talking to them, I said, you know, during this time, it's important that we are ready to meet Jesus Amen. Christ yes. and that we're helping everybody else get ready. <clears throat> and I'm trying to make a point. My neighbor, I said, oh, it's important that we know Jesus and he knows us. Yeah. Don't, don't just stay on the surface. Get down deep and let's reap the harvest. Amen. And that's the message that God has given to me. And so I'm giving it to you. And I'm praying that God will help you through this time. If we'll apply these things, I believe that the God, God will do a work in us. And I'm sorry I didn't let y'all talk. I just got kind of going <laughs> No, there. it's wonderful. I, I, <laughs> but I praise God yes. that he's, he's helping me and, and, and helping me through this and helping me to, to see his perspective. And I'm thankful for that. I yes. praise God for Amen. it. Amen. Amen. I have a comment. Tonight. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't give you no, a chance to. It's okay. <laughs> you said something that made me think of this. God's getting you ready for what he's got ready for you. Amen. Yes, Amen. That's so, awesome. I receive it. I, I receive I, it. I, I think that's a good word for everybody. Amen. Yeah. God's Amen. getting you ready for what he's got ready for you. Hallelujah. Is that not so Amen. strong? Amen. That's so powerful. And I didn't come up with it myself. Y'all don't get excited now. <laughs> it's but, awesome. It's awesome. But I, some, I think some pastor might have. I think it was a video he shared. Okay, a video that he shared, and uh, I immediately sent it to people who are important in my life because God's getting us ready for what he's got ready for us. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Praise, Praise, the the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's the kind of things that we need to keep in our spirit. You know, the Word of God says, from the abundance of the heart and mouth speaks. Yes. And if we find ourselves speaking anything but mm. what God's got ready for us, it's possible that we haven't spent enough time Yes. Putting the word in. Amen. That's good. Exactly. And I'd like to give a praise report. Um, last week, I requested prayer for a lady, yes. Miss Brenda Smith. Mm -hmm. And she has been making steady improvement all this week. And today, I got word today that uh, they did several. She had a swallowing test. Mm -hmm. Now, mind mm -hmm. you, she had a major stroke. Oh, yeah. yeah. And right. paralyzed on mm -hmm. one side and all that. She passed the swallowing test. Praise God. She ate biscuit and gravy and sausage and eggs. For Praise breakfast. God. This Glory morning. God. Well, Lord. And they removed some of the tubes. <laughs> and she is just doing wonderful and I just want to praise God yes. for that praise because God. He is praise a miracle working yes, God. Yes, He is. Amen. 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 Well, let me give another one. All right. While we're at it, yeah. <laughs> my cousin, uh, she uh, she had cancer. Um, it was in her bones, and she was in a lot of pain. And my mother and I went to go pray with her, and it was the most wonderful, the sweetest time. I just felt it wasn't like lightning bolts and fire falling from heaven, but it was just the sweetest presence of the Lord in that room. And uh, she sent word back to my mom as she had her last treatment. The doctor said everything is looking awesome. Oh, right. <laughs> she, she, was, she called and she was talking to mom and she was crying. She was so thankful. I'm telling you, God, absolutely. He's still in the business. Yes, he is. <laughs> Amen. He is. Amen. 
So good. I'm excited. I, 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 I'm getting more and more excited because I believe that God is up to something. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just no telling what God's getting Amen. ready to do. Amen. No telling. And, and we just really need to, to, to take this word that we're, God's given us to heart and, and, and be prepared mm -hmm. for what he's getting ready to do. Yes, yes, yes. I want to, I, I'm believing for a great revival during this time, that, that a great harvest. Yes, amen. And, and that our sons and daughters are, are, are coming home and they're going to prophesy. Amen. <laughs> amen. 